All right, I got this walking stick. It looks to be about six feet tall. This is the way you're gonna want it. Bigger end at the top, smaller end at the bottom. So, this is too long. And it looks like I'm gonna have to shave a little off of the bottom of it here. Take my saw and make a cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach up here about right here. And that looks like a really good spot for the top to be. So I've turned it upside down and used that as a guide. And what I'll do is I'll cut it off right here. And that'll make it a little taller for me. I'm only 5'6", so if somebody was 6 feet tall, that would be about right for them. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got two sets of knots here, and I'm going to cut it, well, I think right halfway in between them. All right, let's try that first. All right, get my handy dandy saw here. I got my spot. I'm just gonna give it a... a little trim off the bottom. One of these days I'll get set up and... <laughs> <laughs> One of these days I'll get set up and I'll have a vise I can put this in. But I just got this table. It needs a lot of work. Alright, there it is. Let's see where this hits us now. Look at that. I'm already I'm already debarking it. So that that's a good spot. I'll hold it here if it's for me. And then somebody that's a little taller can hold it right about there. I like it. So that's the first part. Something else I like about this thing. Let's see if I can show you here. It's so right here. It's got a nice little knot cluster. And I don't know if the camera is going to show it or not but it's got a little bit of worm damage here it's quite a little worm damage right in there when i say damage it it damages the wood but it really makes this look a lot better so now what i'm going to do after i've got it to length and it doesn't have to be exactly to length on your first cut i have left them a little long so i can see what i'm doing but the next thing I'm going to want to do is I just want to get this bark off of it here. And this is an easy one. So this would be a great stick for beginners. Get one that the bark is just going to fall off of. And that's what we've got here. All right. 99% of the bark, yes, never cut toward you. I'm not actually cutting i'm doing a little bit of shaving and i've got a branch right here in front of me so even if my knife does slip it's going to hit the branch and then i will go away from me here i am not cutting so hard with so much force that i'm worried about cutting myself i mean it still can happen but all right so we're all debarked here Got a real nice feature down here. We're gonna want to cut all of these little knobs off here. So I've got one here. And I just take my pruners and I'll just lop them right off there.
It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to come back and I'm going to sand this one. I sand most of my sticks. I like leaving some of the natural beauty on them. This one's got a lot of that. This one's a little heavier. A little harder to get that one cut. And again, it's all gonna it's all gonna work out in the end here. Alright, I just got a couple more small ones here. We'll get those knocked off. That's up at the top. Again, I'll sand it, and I'll actually take the knife to this one probably here. Cut a little more without just sanding it. So That's pretty much the first couple of steps. Everything looks good. It's got a little bit of a bad spot right here, and I'm going to incorporate that into the top, how the finished look of the top is. So we'll get to that too. I think now I'll go grab me some sandpaper and we'll uh, get going on it here. Hey, look, Kyle's here. Wave to the camera, Kyle. Okay, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Just, Kyle's here. There you go. All right, so I got my box of goodies here. <laughs> Previous video I mentioned I was out of 220. I'm not out of 220 anymore. I'm gonna start with 100 here. It's a little aggressive, the 100, but for the first time that you're gonna be sanding it, That'll work pretty well. Um, the stuff I picked up from the beach, the sticks there, I won't actually uh, sand those at all. You know, the ocean sanded it. The, the water has sanded it for me. So I'm sitting here all confident that I'm done here with all this. And look at that. I missed some. All right. So we got that. And I'm going to start up here at the top. I cut my sandpaper up kind of small here. Like so, I'll third it. Now I've got a line, I'll follow that line, cut it here. I'll take that in half. And I'll cut it again. And that actually gives me six sheets out of one. So since I got this knot up here, and yes, I'm going to cut towards me, and I'm a professional, so don't, don't do this at home. I'm just going to cut real easy. Just take a few little small slices off of it here and then I will sand it smooth once I'm done but I always like to start sanding from the top down I bounce around I'm kind of one of those guys that gets bored if I'm in one spot too long And 
on this. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll put it up there a little closer. Where I cut it, it actually uh, broke it off here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while I'm doing the knot, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. This looks like a good candidate for a rounded top. So that's probably what I'm going to do with it since I got to cut so much off here. That cuts really easy. It does have a crack in it here. I'm not going to worry too much about that because this is on the top of the stick, but you don't want it on the stick at the bottom. So see, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to go all the way around this, about like so. And I'm going to just keep working it until it's round. I won't do it now. Um, We'll come back to it later. But that's just kind of how I get my shape. Now, see, it's clear down here, so I'll have to go clear down there and round it up some more. That's, that's a whole lot better than it was. Again, I'm just taking little, little slices off of this. I'm retired. I don't have to be in a hurry to do anything, and... This is one of those things that I'm just not in a hurry for. It's a nice sunny day out today. Went up and played in the mountains a little bit. And now I'm going to work on a walking stick. Now this stick isn't one I've shown you before. I couldn't honestly tell you where I got this. We spent about four weeks last summer up in Washington and I'm gonna guess that I got it up there up by Spokane area so all right anyway you get the idea there got a little moss here I'm gonna take off now there's a lot of worm design let's say that because I don't like the word damage so it's time to get this out. Now that I've got this cut cut down up there kind of like the design I want, I want to fold this in half. We're going to start sanding this thing. And I'm not doing much sanding. I'm mainly getting that outer layer off. Um, there's a little bit of dirt underneath the uh, bark that was on here, and the piece by itself is just dirty, you know. It's laying out in the woods, so. Oh, yeah. That warm art. <laughs> Got lots of names for it. It is looking really good. Yep, watching an old guy sand is not the best thing in the world. I'm going to bring this up to you. Hopefully, you can see the worm art a lot better there. And then you can see the knot that I was talking about. I will round it off there. All the way around. But anyway, that's, that's what the difference it is right there. If I leave it like that and put a finish on it, it's just not going to work. There's all sorts of dust and debris on here. It's dirty. So what we're going to end up doing here 
is I'm going to sand it the rest of the way here. I might bring you back here in a little bit, and I might not. You never know. Back in a bit. All right, I've been sanding on this thing for a little while here. It's looking pretty good. About two-thirds of the way done now. Okay, another nice bunch of worm art here. I'll bring this over. And then see here, I haven't done this yet. Unfortunately, we're going to have to call it a day. The weather's moved in and it's starting to sprinkle and I don't want to get my tools all wet and my sandpaper wet. It doesn't sand real wet well when it's wet. So we're going to end it here and I'll pick it up on another video. This will be to be continued. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy.